to my first ever YouTube video. I'm so excited to start this journey with you guys. We are in Rebel Soak, British Columbia, met up with our friends from Michigan, and we are going out riding today. This is my first time here, so it's going to be exciting. I can tell you right now, this video is going to be a good one. Robert has some troubles, uh, ghost riding sled. We got a fire. We got the normal riding. We got some pretty views. It's going to be all in here, so stay tuned for the video. The weather's kind of decent. You know, some sun, some clouds. We're going to see some things. The trail ride is like 20 kilometers out there. We got a group of 11 of us. So keep watching to follow along on our adventure for the day. Down the hill, across the lake, cut through the woods, and hug the cliff on your right, you'll come to another lake. We're all right out here. some lakes down there worked our way up through that tree line and kind of got up to the top of this mountain and when i tell you my breath was taken away my breath was taken away these views are crazy i've seen pictures online but i've never actually like seen it in person and it lives up to the hype like look at how wild it is just mountaintops for days I got a skidoo rubber if that'll work. I think I got a spare player, but it's oh, still no, in it here. did blow. Oh, shit. Well, that's all you need, the belt. So it seems like. The belt's not even wrapped, is it? Just needs to put back on. The belt oh, and awesome. some zip ties for some fucking side panels, and you're rocking, bro. That's deep. That's the first belt I've ever seen blown, actually. Yeah, I'm nervous. So we decided to start cutting some wood for a fire before Robert goes in and tells us a story about how he got into this situation. Oh. Oh. Okay, I got it. You can get it going. <laughs> it looks so simple. Oh, I know. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you definitely got to pull the same trench you're probably fighting up and down i want to get it hot or get you know what i mean yeah get her priming oh, oh, <laughs> yeah i wouldn't want to all right here we are snowmobiling out here today Robert, Jesus. look at what the situation you got us in. Yeah, we got a fire going. What happened? Run it back. Well, we were up there hitting the re-entry. Came down and landed perfectly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Almost, <laughs> the, he says. So I was going to the handlebars. Sled gets stuck wide open. I go to the front, runs me over, goes down the hill, <laughs> comes down, bang, bounce off that tree. We already cut it down. Smokes that one. Tips oh, over, blows quick drive belt. Now we got a fire going while we wait for Slater to come. Save us again. Slater's going to get a quick drive belt and ski rubbers. Yeah. And why'd the throttle stick, Robert? Someone doesn't own a tether. 
yeah. Mistakes were made today. Lessons were learned. Well, were they actually though? No. This no. is how many times your throttle stuck before? Mm, twice. At Three least. Oh my God. <laughs> I already told one side by doing it like that, so yeah. With Slater too. Yeah. No tether. No tether. A second I slide. Across field the tree. A second time? Say, that was the first time. The second time? <laughs> I Both times, walk, really? No, this is the second today, time. But... What are you eating? A roll up? Here's the thing, Robbie. You are going to be. Yeah. A little exactly. ham and cheddar hot pocket. Nice. Pizza? Robert's done though. What do you got in yours? I more pizza. Oh. I just put it in. Where do you guys get all the pizza from? There were two big, large ones oh. the other night, bro. I left over at home. This one up first, and then that one. Like, that one's too far. I think they both got to be yeah. like, just barely. All right, let me pull this up. All right, it started right there. Now, see all this? This is slack. You need yeah, it. so now, do we want to zip tie that? I don't know. Tighter? Just squeeze it. And as you squeeze, it's really tight. Well, with all hands on deck, we got the quick drive belt back on, we got the new ski rubbers on, and we got the plastics put back on Robert's sled. And we decided, you know, that was enough excitement for us for one of our first days out here riding. So we all hopped on our sleds, headed back out. The trail ride was nice and calm. We kind of just take it nice and easy. You can see my sled was getting a touch hot, but the snow was pretty cold. And by the end of the day, we got into Slater's Logan Coach trailer. Everyone got undressed. We made it out safe and sound. Also, we had a great day other than Robert. Everyone else, you know, lived it up. I can't wait to go riding again tomorrow.